Hi, my name's Toby Mills. Today uh, I'm going to show you how I use 3G telemetry uh, for my ground station solution. Today all I'm going to be using for ground station is uh, a laptop uh, connected to the internet using a personal hotspot feature on an iPhone. First thing I'm going to do is turn on the personal hotspot feature and that's done. Uh, and that will allow, you can see there's one connection, my laptop's already connected and is now on the internet. Here is my ground station laptop uh, and all I need to do is, there we go, it's connected to my iPhone so I now have an internet connection that will allow me to do telemetry over the internet. So let's have a look at what's in the plane. This is my uh, Skywalker X8 wing. Um, inside, uh, it's pretty standard. I've got a couple of batteries, uh, an APM2 at the back, uh, but the, this part's the little, bit that's a little bit different from most. Uh, this is a Fatbox 3G uh, router. Um, Fatbox has got a serial port on it, which I'm then level shifting down to a TTL connection, which will connect to the APM. On board it's also got two Ethernet ports, uh, and these can be used to uh, plug in web cameras or any other device that you want to route over the 3G connection. Um, the Fatbox has a built-in web server, and you can do port forwarding um, in any of the standard IP uh, type things that you might want to do. Uh, so at the moment I'm using TCP IP rather than UDP uh, mainly because the Fatbox has a built-in dynamic DNS um, server so that means when it connects to the internet it automatically registers with the DNS server so that on my ground station I don't need to know the IP address of the um, fat box, I can just connect to the DNS name uh, and that allows me to connect using a variety of different devices, I could use a laptop um, or if there was a ground station for the iPad uh, that would work directly over that. Okay so here we have the ground station, you can see I'm using TCP IP 115k in the top hand corner, right hand corner. Uh, so what we'll do now is we'll connect to the plane. I've just got the DNS name in there and it's using the standard port. You can see now it's getting the parameters. And there we go, it's found exactly where we are. One of the things I do do is um, under the configuration for the planner, just to save on data, um, I've set the altitude, all of the uh, update times, I actually set them to one second, uh, and this just reduces the amount of data that we're trying to send over the link. Let's uh, get it up in the air and see how it performs. Okay, so we're up at the air. Uh, let's have a look at the, how the ground station is responding. You can see here the update frequency is a little bit lower because I've set it to every one second. However, the performance is still fine for most things that we're going to do. 
just hovering above us. So uh, what I'll do now is we'll set a waypoint. ground station is using my iPhone um, to get the map data as well so that means I don't have to cache it you see just to confirm we're still connected via TCP Seven hundred meters out at the moment. Okay. Just got to our waypoint. And we'll go on to loiter. So we'll bring it back now. So the altitude. What I'm going to do now is uh, line, it, line it up for our landing, because it's quite windy. And we're going to send it out here. Take it down to 60 meters. The X8 is uh, notoriously uh, difficult to land in a small space, so um, it's going to be reasonably interesting. We don't have a huge paddock. Um, but it is uh, it does have a very low, uh, big, large glide ratio. So um, once we get down to there, I'll um, bring it to land. So there we have it, a Skywalker X8 with an APM2 and 3G telemetry.